I'm not going to say yes or no. So which means Allah statue idol or alive? What? Allah idol statue or alive? <laughs> okay. Why don't you uh, and attempt to understand what he's saying? Because the last time he asked you a question, uh, we spent pretty much the last hour when you waffled your way through everything. Instead of laughing, bro, and I mean this sincerely, instead of laughing, ask for clarification and try to answer the man. Try that. Uh, Your Allah, you're saying yeah. Allah alive, Actually, right? Value at all. What, brother, let me make it super easy for you. I can see too hard for you to understand it. Because Allah, he teach you, don't use your mind, haram. So now, <laughs> let me make it easy, brother Egyptian. Very easy. What's the difference between you and statue? A, me and a, and a rock? Hmm. I'm alive. How? How? What's the difference? I said, what's the difference between you and the statue? I, yeah, I have statue, a... not, not alive. You are alive. What's the difference yeah. between you both? Uh, I have a ruh, a spirit. You have a spirit, right? Yeah. If I now, if I now create a from the stone statue like a man. Okay. Right? Statue or idol like a man, like an Arab pagan, they used to do it, right? Mm -hmm. So what's the difference that between that statue, Hubal or Baal, or Lillat or Uzza? What's the difference between Hubal and your Allah? Uh, Allah isn't created. Uh, the Arab pagan saying Hubal is created. I'm saying uh, according his, not his job, his being. I'm not talking about his job. I'm not talking about his action. I'm to not talking about... His works. Mm -hmm. I'm not talking about his name. I'm talking specifically about his being. Mm -hmm. What's the difference between Hubal, Baal, and your Allah? Uh, Allah is uncreated. Baal is created. I'm not saying, man... Try to focus, please, Habibi. Drink a, a drink cup of water for you focusing. Drink okay. cup of water. Just make it more clear. Read one, two, three, and we will come back in. So now, Hubal, Hubal, Baal, statue. A statue, yeah. A he's rock not thing. alive. He's not alive, right? Oh. Why? Because he doesn't have a spirit. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. Cool. You're Allah alive? Yes. He has a spirit? When he when he refers to his spirit, he means angel spirit, yeah. Man. <laughs> I'm not talking about... I told you, we passed Jibreel. I know what you're trying to do. You're trying to get me to say that Allah is a spirit. But we don't believe so in that. So you're Allah. You said your Allah is alive, right? Yes. You're Allah, same machine? What? Your Allah, same as machine, same. or he has a spirit? Allah is, we know, he's not. Your a Allah is a machine or has a spirit? We don't, we don't say that he's a spirit. So your Allah alive using electric or he has a spirit? We don't believe Allah has a, 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 We don't believe Allah is a spirit. It's very simple. Which means he alive because he has a battery. No. So how can he be alive? There's no power. Okay, so so you I know what you're, you're trying to say. You're trying to say that you're trying to get me to say that Allah. I'm not a, trying to say anything. I, I'm trying to uh, get some answer from you. Okay, I'll answer you. you can I explain? So your Allah has a spirit. So when it, when it says when it says a spirit, it doesn't mean like humans. It's not. It's not. I'm, I'm not talking about. Look, look. 
I didn't say it like a human. I didn't say it like animals. I didn't say it like a tree. Did okay, you hurt okay. me? I said that. No. I'm just asking. You're Allah alive? Yes. You said yes. He has a spirit? You stuck here. We're still here. You stuck. Your Allah has a spirit? Logically, man. Use your brain. Yeah, so what, what, so what, what is the you... difference? For example, why I said he is alive? For which reason? Mm -hmm. So we have also the machine. We can use it. And they can move. They can do a lot of stuff. They can drive. They can do a lot of things. And even they can make stuff and they can create the stuff, the machine. But the machine is not alive. Right? Correct. But she, the machine is moving. They have a power. They're using power, maybe electric, mm -hmm. maybe battery, maybe gas. Right? Right. So when we mentioning to alive, two types, human or animals. Right? <laughs> or fruit tree. Right? So now we're talking about Allah, which means we are not talking about human. We are not talking about fruit or animals. Right? Okay. Cool. So you said Allah alive. You didn't say Allah moving. Allah has a power. We said Allah alive. Right? Mm -hmm. Cool. You're Allah alive, which means He's supposed to be have a spirit to be alive. No. Right? No. That's where no? the, you, you have a misunderstanding. So now, what is the difference between your Allah <coughs> and Arab pagan Allah? Abdul Muttalib, he has Allah too. He worshiping his Allah in a cave too. And he's saying Allahu Akbar too. Okay. Do you want me to prove it from physical book? I know they were they they worshipped Allah. Okay. So cool. So now Abdul Muttalib, grandfather of Muhammad, he's following religion of paganism. He's a pagan. He worshiping statue. Yeah. He worshiping idols, right? Right. And he's saying he's Allah alive too. What's the difference between your Allah and Abdul Muttalib Allah? Simple. He worshipped Allah through a statue. Who said that? What do you mean? Who said I will that? challenge you now. I will send you two lions. If you prove it to me, he worshipping Allah through statues. Abdul Muttalib, I'm saying. Abdul Muttalib. Grandfather of Muhammad. <laughs> they they worshipped they worshipped idols. Yeah, but they believe he worship in... idols. Yeah, that's why Muhammad that said... idols his name Allah. No, and he said Allahu Akbar too. You just and said... he nazar nazar aydan lahu. You just said that the idol was named Baal. A different name. You have a three hundred sixty-four idol worshiping. Yeah. Okay. 364 idols. You have a Hubal, you have a Baal, you have a Lat, you have a Uzza, you have a Manat, you have a lot. <clears throat> okay. So now, what's the difference between Allah of Abdul Muttalib and your Allah? I already told you. What you told me? Come again. Creation versus the Creator. It's very simple. Who said that? Who said and that? Do you depend. have a proof your Allah exists? The creator doesn't depend on a spirit. Do you have? Abdul Muttalib, he has a proof his Allah exists. The people touching him, seeing him, talking with him. Do your Allah exist? Of course. Tell me about your Allah being. Can you see and... And touch and feel uh, the Father of the Trinity. But we see the Son. However, who sees the Son, he sees the Father. 
Your God, your God died for three days. Which is the Son. Yeah, not my God that died. He the, did. The Spirit never died. The Spirit never died. You switch the topic. You are not smart. <laughs> Even I'm your sorry. Allah is not smart. I'm showing you. I will answer that question. What? Let me answer my question. I'm not circling like you. Why? Because I trust my faith. I choose it. But you circle, you have one hour. I recorded for you everything. I will download it on my YouTube channel. Go ahead. Trust me. But let me answer your question. First of all, Habibi, we are not believing that God is die. But we saying spiritually. Why? Let me give you an example. First of all, who's supposed to be die? Adam. Because the God, when he talked with Adam, he commented to him, if you disobey me, you will be die. Right? The command to the Adam. Adam is supposed to be die. Right? Not God. First point. So second point, the God Bible, uh, uh, John 4, 24, he said the God is a spirit. Clear. And said nobody can see the God. Very clear. Which means he's a spirit. But, the Bible too, he said, the God sent his word, appeared in a human being. Why? Because the human being supposed to be die. Who die on a cross? The body. God. The body. But who raise it up? The spirit. So what makes now I will give you an example to understand why we said the God. I will give you an example. Okay. Don't, don't, don't interrupt me. I will give you an example, and you will convince now. You will understand it when I finish my point now. I'm coming. So now, who died on a cross? The body. Who raised up the body from the dead? The spirit. But Jesus Christ, he said, destroy this temple, and after three days, I will raise it up. Mm -hmm. So what now, makes the body? What makes the flesh? All right. So now let me give you the example for your understanding. See, well, maybe, we have an answer for everything. For example, for example, Egyptian Habibi, <coughs> you as a human, physical, right? You have a physical body, right? You as a human physical body become mm -hmm. police officer, which means you wearing the clothes of police and you have a uniform, right? Right. If you die, we call police officer die, or we call the physical body die. Uh, I guess it depends. Depends. We call police officer die, man. What are you talking about? Right? Uh, huh? Okay, sure, sure. What's your point? We said police officer die, right? Sure. Sure. Which means the uniform die, right? Okay. The uniform die? The uniform? Yeah. It, it's not alive. It, it can't die. So your uniform die? The uniform didn't, that can't die. It's, it's, it's not. Man, I'm giving you an example I, now. The uniform die? Did the uniform die? Yeah. Uh, I don't understand the analogy, but are you saying it does? It, are you saying it didn't die? So when we're saying police officer die, which means the government die? Uh, no. Why? Because government spiritual, right? Okay. Right. But who's uh, die? Your physical body, right? Yeah. Spiritually, we said God is die. Same thing. You got it? Now, I would but know now that. come again. Prove it to me your Allah exists. Yalla. I answered your question. Now your turn. <laughs> Prove to <laughs> me your Allah exists. That give me, give me, no, 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 no. Your turn. So now you have to Give me your Allah being attribute if he is exist. Go ahead. Okay, can I respond to your to your analogy? 
So if your Allah exists, can you tell me about your Allah being attribute? In the analogy, the then I'm no longer a police. No, I'm no longer a police officer. Right. See you circling. You didn't trust your religion. That's your problem. You didn't trust your Allah. That's your problem. Look, when you change the topic and you ask me about Jesus, directly I answer you. Why? Well, I because I trust my faith. I, I asked you if you... And the topic about your Allah. And you change it. I said, no problem. I will answer your question. And we spend the time. And I answer it your question. And everybody in comment understands the, the, the answer and the example. But can you also, you, give me answer and example, same as I did? Go ahead. Uh, yeah, no problem. I got you. Yeah. All right. So in Islam, we believe in one God. Just one. We don't believe in a that, that God needs a spirit to live. Um, I, do you not, understand my question? What was your question? Uh, you misunderstanding my question again. Oh, the, the, the so last question. My question to you. If your Allah exists, mm -hmm. if your Allah exists, can you tell me about your Allah being attribute? His attributes? Yeah, his being attribute. Oh, his being? Yeah. Uh, just one, uncreated? I'm not saying who created, if your Allah created or not. I'm asking if your Allah exists, exists. If he exists, he has a being attribute. For example, let me give you an example. If I said the material exists, I can explain it to material to you. What is material? Which means material, gas, liquid, and Gas, liquid, and solid. solid. Solid, right? So can you tell me about your Allah being attribute if he exists? Uh, I'm not easy. saying who looks like who. <laughs> That's my question. But So you're comparing God to an analogy? I'm of not comparing so if I ask me, for example, if I ask you, does the human being exist? Yes. He has a body. He's alive, has a spirit. He's a smart, speaking, talking, has a word. Mm -hmm. How about your Allah? Do your Allah exist? Tell me about your Allah being attribute. We don't, we don't break down his... his uh, Which means he doesn't exist. We don't break him down like y'all. I'm not saying break him down. Explain it to me. Who is your Allah? He's been. If he is exist. Anything exist has a been. Uh, I, can, I can explain his, att his attributes, if that's what you mean. I'm not, no, attribute his been. Not attribute his works. His been. We're talking about his being. If he exists, mm -hmm. everything exists has an explanation of his being. Except if you ask me about my God, simple. My God exists, Father. He is alive, Holy Spirit. He is a talking, he is a word, he is a smart, the son. Done. How about your Allah? Yeah, so we don't compare him to worldly matters. I'm not. I'm not saying compare. Explanation of his being. You just compared God to a. To no, a I didn't compare. Did you say? Did you heard me? I said he's like animal, or he's like a human being, or oh, yeah. he is like a material. Yeah, you said he was Jesus. No. Ah, you came back to the Jesus. What? I didn't say Jesus. I said, word of God. Blush. When he becomes Jesus, let me teach you. When he becomes Jesus, 
after the word of God appeared in this body, become Jesus. What's the Jesus meaning? Jesus meaning the red mirror. The red mirror. That Jesus meaning. So I'm not saying Jesus. I said word of God. Word of God, he exists. Why? Because of from Old Testament, he show up. He appeared. How about your Allah? Your Allah exists? Is, um, is the word... Okay, the... can you prove it to me? Your Allah from outside Islamic book. If you don't have explanation logically about your Allah. If you don't have answer logically about your Allah. Do you have answer from outside Islamic books? Allah exists? Yes. Prove. Yeah, so... Uh, omnipresent, um, uncreated, uh, unlimited. Man, 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 I told you, prove it to me, he exists. 